Hi, this is John from PortableFreewareGames.com and I'm not here to show you a game. What I'm here to show you is a, a freeware application. Well, actually five freeware applications that have been bundled together into one application. Uh, and all together, it gives you all the tools that you need for building your own screensavers. It's a screensaver toolkit, AIO, portable. So let's have a look at it. You click on the your browser. And you type in portablefreewaregames.com. I want you to choose the software option. And it's the third one on this list here Screensaver Toolkit AIO Portable. Click on the wee image. And that'll take you, to, take you to the download page for the application. Where you're going to have a video for the application. You're going to have a brief description of what's in the application. And the download button for the application. Let's download this. Save. Now, as you can see from this here, it's only 53.9 megabytes for the entire application, all five applications. Yeah, I find that incredible. And this is the file here that you'll download Screensaver Toolkit AIO.exe. It's an exe file, it's an executable file, and like the, the games that you download from portablefreewaregames.com, it doesn't have to be installed to run. So let's double click this. Yes. And as you can see, when it starts up, you get this nice wee welcome screen here, uh, stating the name of the website, presents, screensaver toolkit AIO, and a button to continue. Let's continue. And as you can see, the next page is, a, is a, basically a list of the five applications that are included in this one, this one larger application. Uh, we've got a YouTube downloader, I've got a screen recorder, a video editor, a video converter, and a screensaver maker. And they're actually compiled uh, in order we're going to use them. The first two applications, the YouTube downloader and the screen recorder, are both there so you can obtain a, a video file that you can use for a, a screensaver. The YouTube downloader is very easy to use. Just click on the button click run app and you get the screen that comes up, the small screen and what you have to do is to go to a YouTube video it's any YouTube video you like here it's here and all you have to do is highlight the URL and copy it and the, the YouTube downloader automatically uh, reads that link and here we are, it's getting ready now generate links as you can see the video URL is now part of this application so we're looking to generate links and here you've got a list of links uh, you can get it in 3GP you can get it in FLV or you can get an MP4. Always choose that if you're going to be making your own screensavers, you want to choose the MP4 option uh, and the higher resolution. There's 720p there available. And after that, you just download selected video, and that's you've got a nice video you can use for a screensaver. And there's a lot of stuff on YouTube that make pretty good screensavers, to tell you the truth. Uh, you've got a lot of montage videos for games and for sports and, and fails. And there's a, a lot of good stuff that you can use. But that's how you use the YouTube load downloader. Uh, screen recorder again is very easy to use. Click on the, the screen recorder button. Click on run app. And that's it ready to go. You just need to set it to what region. As you see it's set to full screen. Uh, options, there are a few options here for you to mess around with. Uh, again that will record everything on your screen including games. Uh, if you're into gaming and you want to make a screensaver made, made for one of your favourite games, then that's the application to do it. Uh, now the third application, uh, I'm not going to use either one of the first two right now. I've got a video file that I'm going to use for a screensaver. Uh, so I'm going to start with the third application. Uh, you, you can download a video file from anywhere uh, using torrents, and you can chop it up using the video editor. 
and that's what I'm going to do. I've got a video file here, and I'm going to use it to make a screensaver. I'm going to edit it uh, to, to make a screensaver. So I'll click on the AVI Demux, click on Run App, and this is the application just starting up. Now, when you get the main interface up, uh, like it is up here, what you want to do is you want to drag your video file in the centre of the user interface, drag and drop. Now I should really explain the video that I'm going to use for this. Uh, it's the feature film Zeitgeist. Uh, you might have heard of it, you might not have heard of it. Uh, but the reason I picked it, one of, well, one of the main reasons I picked it, is because it's basically an open source film. You can download it from their website, zeitgeistmovie.com or you can download the information that's in the film and they encourage you to distribute it however you feel fit. Uh, so this is how I feel fit, this is how I'm going to help distribute it is I'm going to use it as a screensaver. Uh, down here you can see it lasts for 2 hours and 2 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to cut that down to about 15 or 16 minutes, uh, maybe less. And this is your, your, your controls down here. Straightforward enough, you've got play, stop, rewind, fast forward, previous scene, next scene. But the ones I'm going to be using mostly are these two here, the A and the B buttons. Uh, they basically the form a bracket, the A uh, forms the left hand side of a bracket, and the right, the B uh, forms the right hand side of the bracket, and everything in between them gets highlighted and deleted when you hit delete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip through the film a wee bit using the timeline here. Uh, to there, and I'm going to click the B, and that will automatically select everything leading up to that point. And then I'm going to click Edit, Delete. And I'm going to skip through this again. Obviously, when you're doing this for your screensaver, uh, you would take a bit more time uh, and get a bit more precise to exactly what you're looking for. Uh, I'm, I'm just doing this to show you how it's done. Uh, you can you can perfect it by yourself. So I want to click this time. I'll click A, and that'll automatically select everything to the right. I click Edit, Delete, and then it says 17 minutes 46. So I'll just cut some more out. It uh, this time I'll use both an A and a B bracket. So I'll put, take it about there. Click A and drag it along about there click B and as you can see that's made a rectangle, the highlighted a rectangle right in the middle of the film. I'm going to click edit and then delete. That's it down to 433 and that should do me. That's what we'll uh, use as a screensaver. A couple of things you need to know. Uh, how to get strip the audio from this from your video clip. As you click audio, select track, and you want to untick this one here, track one enabled. Un unclick that and then OK. And then another thing you need to know is that when you're saving a video file in AVI Demux, uh, you have to put the file extension in because it doesn't do it automatically. This is an AVI file that we're using right now. So when I save this file, save, I need to give it a name obviously. YouTube demo, but I have to put in a file extension which is AVI. And then save. And it successfully saved it. And uh, now we're ready to move on to the next option. Okay, the next application we're going to be using is this one here, X Media Recode uh, Video Converter. Because we need to convert the video into an S SWF uh, shortwave flash file. So you click on that. Click on Run App. And here we are. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click starting from the top, click open file, click on YouTube demo, that's the video we just made. A format, format here, uh, you want to change that to SWF. As you can see, there's quite a list of stuff here you can choose from SWF, and down here the destination. Uh, set to users join videos. I want it to go to the desktop. So I'll change that to desktop. So that's me got my video lined up. 
just to get uh, converted to an SWF and just to get saved to the desktop uh, just click add to queue and then encode and that's us at 95% almost there okay we can just close that down and as you can see what we file here uh, with Firefox badge on it saying YouTube demo that's it that's it that's the file we're looking for and now we want to go back to the main menu and want to choose the last game the last application here instant storm screensaver maker let's click on that click on run app and it gives you three options you can start a new blank project you can create a new project using the project wizard or you can open an existing project I'm going to choose the wizard option next what is your screensaver called? YouTube demo there's a flash file about it's on my desktop YouTube demo and here it's asking for an image file if you want to add your own pictures, your own icon, your own logo to the installer, uh, no I'm not interested in that. Next. You have successfully finished the new project wizard. Click finish to close the wizard and publish your screensaver. Finish. Here we are, create screensaver installer. Create. What do I want to save it? What do I want to call it? Uh, YouTube demo compilation in progress here we are almost there that's us and I've got a wee error message here telling me that cannot access a file a local temp instant storm and uh, this happens sometimes with portable applications they try to make temporary files or log files but they can't because they're locked into a, a single exe this is nothing to worry about this is, this is completely expected and exit and this is it here this is a screensaver installation file here and as you can see it's created an, an installer file for my screensaver so I'm, I'm just going to install this double click hello welcome to the YouTube demo installation continue finish now let's have a look Personalize screensaver. And this is it here, the screen screensaver that's been set is called YouTube Demo. Let's preview it. Yep. That's the beginning of my screensaver. I recognize that. So it's definitely installed and it's definitely running alright. Uh, to get rid of it, uh, it installs like any other piece of software and it also uninstalls like any other piece of software. You just go to your installed softwares and it'll show up as, as whatever you called it. There's mine there. There's mine there, YouTube demo. If I want to uninstall it, I can just double click that and that'll uninstall it. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm quite happy to have that screensaver on my computer. Um, well, I hope you've learned something new. I hope you download this application. I hope you make lots and lots of good screensavers. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.